My dear friends, I am so grateful to call you friends. Your support and actions have been humbling to our family for some time now. I reach out to you that you may know and understand that our circumstances are difficult. Also that you may know that the Lord has been with us in these our afflictions. It is obedience to the Lord and our following Him that has enraged our adversaries to bind and hold us away from our families, our place of worship, and to keep us from the sacred support which we owe our wives and our children. However, even in this time of bondage and tribulation, we have grown closer to the Lord. For this, we will always be grateful. I know He lives and desires all men to live free. He will make all things right in the end. All things will be restored, and the all injustices will be corrected. In Him, all men have a choice to repent and allow Him to pay for their sins, or men must pay for their own sins which caused even Christ great suffering. I hope and pray that all of us who read these words will repent as needed, clear our lives up from any wickedness, and accept the Lord's gift, and then do this for the rest of our lives. Love one another, love your neighbors, and take care of your families. Stand for freedom, for without freedom, wicked men would dictate your religion, your occupation, and the way you conduct your family and home. God, family, and home, please know that we are doing all we can to be released from this prison as free men, but being in bondage has rendered us nearly helpless. Our attorneys are hard at work, but also up against this unsanctioned system of force and control. Powerful people are punishing us as political enemies and are using the people's power to do it. The Lord is our only hope. He has the power to deliver us. He can do it at any time. We have faith that He will do so, and that we may return home to our family soon. We ask you to pray to the Lord with all your hearts that He will show you what you can do to act and help. Pray to Him that His power will show forth that the Constitution will be upheld and we will be released in His due time. With great love, Ammon Bundy.